Welcome to our NTU project for marketing management on the co-branding of Colgate and Bassett. I am Matt. I'm Lee. I'm Bird. And I'm Lynn. We'll now give you a brief background on the two brands we're co-branding. We'll start by talking about the background of Colgate. Firstly, it is a multinational company that supplies health and hygiene products worldwide. In 1806, it was founded by William Colgate in the city of New York in America. In 1928, it merged with Palm Olive to create Colgate Palm Olive. It is now one of the market leaders in the oral hygiene and healthcare market. It has operations in over 70 countries and it sells its products in more than 200 countries. This is the background of Bassett's now. In 1842, it was founded by George Bassett in Sheffield. In 1918, it started to manufacture jelly products after World War I called Peace Babies, which are now known as Jelly Babies. In 1926, it created a mascot named Bertie Bassett, which still represents the brand today. In 1989, it was taken over by Cadbury Schweppes and now uses the brand name by Cadbury's itself. It's created other brands such as Victory V Lozenges, Sherbet Fountains and Beach Nut. Okay, so looking at this graph, you can see that the market value for the sugar and gum confectionery market was 1.7 billion and it's forecast by 2020 to rise to 1.9 billion which shows that the market value is increasing which could be a good time to enter the market. As you can see from this table, this shows the market share of the sugar confectionery market and Bassett has a current market share of 5% which is the fifth largest in the market. Uh, from this graph it shows the market value of the oral care products and this year it had a market value of just over 1 billion which is forecast to rise to 1.25 billion by 2020 which again shows that this market is a good time to get into the market as it's still growing. As you can see from the table this shows the UK retail value sales of toothpaste by brand and you can see at the top that Colgate has a market share of 49% which is huge in comparison to their nearest competitor, Sensodyne, which has a market share of 18%. And it's from the table below shows the retail value sales of oral care products. And in 2015, it had one, just over 1 billion market of value sales, and it is forecast to be 1.2 billion by 2020. So just as a recap from that, um, the overall target market for Bassett are both genders and for children aged from about 4 to 15 and also parents and people who are sweet tooth and their main competitors are Harry Bow, Round Trees and Maynards and for Colgate their target market is both genders and all ages because toothpaste is such an important product and their main competitors are Sensodyne, Oral-B and Aquafresh. Highboot suggests that co-branding two large brands represents a fruitful area for additional inquiry. And for our two brands, we believe that they should be co-branded because they're both well established in their markets, proven by the graphs just presented. They're very trusted with large portions of the population. The co-brand that we've decided on targets a very specific demographic which allows their target needs to be met and Jelly Baby's toothpaste would help motivate young children to brush their teeth regularly which parents may struggle to get their children to do. With the SWOT analysis for Colgate we saw the strengths as having a strong brand recognition and people link the Colgate brand to good oral care. There's a high visibility of Colgate products because they're in most households and being a very historic company which has been around from the late 1800s it is obviously a very recognisable brand with a high market share within the oral care market. Weaknesses though, the market is extremely saturated and that there are limited products not in oral care which Colgate produce so they're not very really diversified as a company with such a large range of toothpaste as well within the Colgate brand consumers may become confused over which product they actually want. Opportunities for Colgate could include advertising the amount that the Colgate product should be used within advertisements so then they can more easily predict sales if they can confirm that users are using toothpaste once or definitely twice a day. 
There are other opportunities include exploring different market opportunities away from oral care, and possible mergers could be part of that sort of diversifying the Colgate range. Further innovation into oral care can be looked at, uh, e.g., sort of the whitening sort of things that have been happening in the previous in the previous years up to now, new sort of oral care products could be released. Threats though, as in the market is very saturated, there are low margins, as competitors try to drive down price, and Sensodyne, which is more of a specific toothpaste, is less about the price, now it's more about what they're providing, so maybe Colgate will be threatened by that sort of thing as their uh, products don't necessarily reflect sort of any sort of sensitive toothpaste sort of aspect. Um, frequent brand switching is often common as people often buy products to try out different new things that are coming to the market. So it's hard for Colgate to get product to get customers to stick to their products. To assess the external factors outside Colgate within their market, we use pest analysis. For the political part, we um, found that the demands for government local authorities to improve oral health, especially for children, is very important. And Colgate must also reach certain quality levels to be registered with oral care governing bodies. For the economical side, the economy has recovered well since the 2008 crash, meaning customers are more likely to spend their um, income on more expensive toothpaste, especially if it's offering something new. Sort of the social side, lifestyle attitudes, it is common within the UK for children and adults to brush their teeth twice a day, and there is a high percentage of sugary sweets within the market which need to be combated through sort of oral care. Technological advancements within the toothpaste sector, for example, whitening capabilities, have become very prominent within recent years. We now do the SWOT analysis for Bassett's Jelly Babies. The strengths are that Jelly Babies are a famous household confectionery product and brand. A colourful, recognisable brand is attractive to many different customers of all demographic and psychographic variants. The weaknesses is that they are nutritionally poor, so they are unable to target any health conscious customers, and they have an inability to recreate the product of the same quality and taste for veg vegetarian consumers. Opportunities for Bassett's include co-branding to provide unique selling points to already established products such as our own co-brand, Jelly Babies and Colgate. Threats to the Bassett brand include strong competition in the confectionery market and other strong brands within the Mondelez umbrella may be given financial priority. Increasingly health conscious consumers may reduce purchasing confectionery products and co-branding strategy with Colgate could affect original brand reputation. Uh, now we'll have the pest analysis of the Bassett uh, company. Uh, first of all, the political standpoint, uh, recently there has been a lot of debate on sugar tax in the UK, uh, which could affect the profit levels. Uh, also there is a big disclaimer for allergies, it's not necessarily appropriate for everyone. Uh, junk food at the moment is being highly restricted uh, between times and actually what they're allowed to in, uh, include in their adverts. Uh, moving on to social, uh, there's increased social awareness of obesity and blood sugar levels at the moment. Uh, since 1980, the level of obesity in people have actually over doubled, uh, and also there's increasing population. Every year, people people are dying less and less, and more babies are being born. Therefore, the market is actually increasing. Uh, moving on to the economical area, uh, rising competitors in the market. There's actually been 912 new entries in the confectionery market this year. Um, inflation has dropped since the recession. Uh, and also the average household in income has actually uh, reached £17,000 in 2014. Uh, the technological market, uh, new communication te um, technologies such as social media and things like that have allowed people to reach areas of the market which are not previously been able to be able to reach. And also it is projected to increase the online market sales for the century in the coming year. So now we're going to talk about the SWOT analysis for our home brand. Um, to start, the strength is that it is an innovative product that has been previously on the on the toothpaste market and also it is bringing together two incredibly well-known brands which both are very recognisable. 
It is also very appealing to the younger target audience with the use of the Jelly Baby collars with the toothpaste. And this is with a trustworthy Colgate brand, which have been in the toothpaste market for a long time. The weaknesses are parents can make links between the sugary sweets and toothpaste, which could be negative for the health of the children. There is a large competitive market, which is full of many different brands of toothpaste, which have different benefits, such as whitening. And the product will be competing against other brands, but also against different Colgate products which could take business off the other products in their product line. As for the opportunities of our co-brand, we could poss there may possibly be sales of original Jelly Baby products as the links will be made between Aura Health and Jelly Babies by consumers. Another point is that there could be an extension on the range of products such as a tube for each flavour of Jelly Baby or possibly bringing out themed toothbrushes and mouthwash. Um, final point, if the combination turns out to be a success, then Colgate could use other brassic brands for their toothpaste, such as the Crisol sort. In terms of threats for the co-brand, if the combination was popular, it could be the idea could be stolen from competitors such as Aquafresh, which could lead to co-brands with Haribo. As it is a competitive market, the margins on the product are very low, and the development of the toothpaste may become costly which in turn could increase the price of the toothpaste, which could be too high for consumers. The flavour combination may not match up to what consumers expect and no jelly babies to taste like. To analyse our co-brand, we use the STP model, segmentation, targeting and positioning. We began by looking at segmentation. Segmenting is a crucial first step in the strategic marketing process. All customers are not the same. So for the demographics, we are looking at children between the age of three and 12 with no gender sort of orientation. Children of this age may not want to brush their teeth and the product will hopefully encourage them to do so. As the parent will be buying the product, we are not suggesting a certain income as toothpaste is not hugely price sensitive, suggested by Erdem et al. 2007, meaning that the characters of children who will be purchasing the product will not be segmented by income. For the psychographic element, the product will be aimed at children with a more stable background and childhood, as their parents will be more active in their childhood, child's care and care more highly about their oral health. For the geographics, the product will be more focused on suburban areas where children are usually more likely to grow up. The behavioural aspect of our segmentation will be for children who are taught to brush their teeth twice a day, so they are more constant users of the product. Consumers are also likely to return to a product that they like, as there is a large choice of toothpaste which can be time consuming and confusing to choose a new toothpaste to try, so they like to stay with something that they know. Targeting is a decision about which market segment an organisation decides to prioritise for its sales and marketing efforts. Our co-brand will be using a concentrated targeting strategy as we will be focusing on a distinct customer group which will be children aged between 3 and 12. Customers of our co-branded product have the same needs and wants which is oral hygiene. The aim of our co-brand is to try and motivate children to brush their teeth through Jelly Baby's taste and colour whilst remaining already healthy. Our co-brand will use and maintain one type of marketing mix as we target one single market segment. The toothpaste market is a both clear and stable one, as oral hygiene will always be necessary. A concentrated strategy for this co-brand is viable because of the already established nature of both brands and therefore be a consumer base that's trusted and loyal. Uh, moving on to the positioning section of STP, uh, it's been said that positioning is the process of creating an image of a product, uh, not in the, on the shelf, but in the mind of the customer. Uh, with this in mind, uh, we went on to a map to plan out the um, other products in the market uh, from quality to cost. Uh, as you can see, we placed our co-branded product uh, on relatively high uh, cost and quality because at the end of the day, they have to pay for what they receive. However, on similar products in the market, uh, things that are focused on more um, taste are down the low to low, which will be more your budget option up to Pronamel, which are a high competitor, but at the end of the day, not necessarily have the same qualities as we will. 
Uh, after looking at this, we then decided to draw up a desired purpose thing, basically deciding whether or not the taste of the jelly baby is matching up to the uh, purpose of the parents want. Uh, we believe that ours has the best um, ratio, as it's both going to be colourful and taste like jelly babies, as well as supplying a good fluoride and whitening uh, aspect to our toothpaste, where, um, as I said previously, other companies such as Prodamol aren't uh, supplying both areas, and the cheaper ones are focused on solely on taste. So basically, summing up what I've just said uh, about positioning, uh, we're not attempting to diversify too greatly in the market, as we're using two uh, tried and tested products which have both taste and quality. Um, we're allowing ourselves to be positioned both as an effective toothpaste, which is obviously ideally attracting the parents that are actually paying for it, as well as appealing to the children through um, taste and colour. Uh, our brand stands between the middle of fun and effective toothpaste. We're now moving on to the marketing mix for our co-brand, our first product. Uh, it's been said before that anything that is offered to a market for attention, acquisition, use or consumption that might satisfy the need or want of a product. Uh, our product can be classified as a convenience product. The reason for this is it's usually bought quite frequently uh, with minimal comparison or effort. Uh, when looking at our product, uh, it can usually be classified in four areas, also known as the levels of product. Uh, our core area is oral health. And then moves on to the actual area, which is our toothpaste. Uh, augmented is it could be a, either be a toothbrush or other themed toothpastes. And then finally, you look for potential in the future, which we could say it could be a mouthwash. The second key is price, and as the Colgate brand is very um, has a large market share, we will be allowed for our product to charge a higher price. And we have gone for a standard price of one ninety nine, which is quite psychological, as people don't see it as sort of hitting that two part mark. The price is actually at the higher end of the children's toothpaste market, as it's a very distinctive product. It should be achievable, as children will make a link to our brand of jelly babies. At first, we will try and use market penetration to encourage customers to try something new, especially parents may be asked by their children to buy the product, it may not feel that they want to, but at a price of 99p, it will be more encouraging for their parents to purchase the product for them. The next part of the marketing mix moves on to place. So for our products, we would use a business to consumer distribution, and we would use intensive distribution, meaning it would make our products widely available to mass market. We would use an indirect channel, using the wholesalers and retailers before we get to the consumers and we would make use of different intermediaries as it will break down the bulk quantities and improve contact efficiency and we, we will be supplying our products to supermarkets such as Tesco and Sainsbury's. Finally is promotion. Promotion is described as a successful brand in which one creates and sustains a strong positive impression in the minds of a buyer. Our chosen channel of promotion is through TV adverts that are memorable as possible in order to make a strong impression on the consumers. Our adverts will be targeted towards children and shown during commercials with children programmes such as Disney Channel and Nickelodeon. Advertising. Advertising is any paid form of non-personal communication of ideas or products in the prime media, television, press, posters, cinema and radio. In terms of branding for our co-brand, we will already have a huge brand awareness and image as we are using two already established brands. From our brand we want to be perceived as a family friendly product and due, as you can see from our product there is use of bright colours and both brand logos to stand out for consumers so they know who the toothpaste was made by. In terms of Colgate, they have used brand development as it is added to an existing product on their line. For Bassets, this is using brand stretching as it is outside of the confectionery market and they are moving into the oral care market. In conclusion to our presentation, we have drawn upon the following points. We have decided that these two brands would be ideally matched as a potential co-brand, as Colgate is a trusted brand for parents, while Bassets can relate to younger children, and this is why it could work in the target market that we have chosen. We have seen from the STP that this program shows there's an on-tap segment which has not been established by any other companies. 
the marketing mix of our co-brand places the product within a gap in the market that we've found within the toothpaste market. With jelly, however, with jelly babies being associated with sugar, it could be difficult to gain consumers' trust in the co-brand as jelly babies is considered a sugary product. Here are the references that we have used. Thank you for listening to our presentation.